YouTube, Block County, Alabama, Jay Brooks, DHR.com. Hey, me and Buster's out here. Uh, we was going to do a little uh, inside. Put that water and Buster into uh, a new investigation. I'm just going to try to walk you through it. And uh, happened four weeks ago, 27th. I think it was on a Sunday. But, uh, anyways, I'm just going to try to walk you through what happened and we'll get on with it. Well, we was out here chilling on the back porch, 27th October. It's four weeks ago today. We was just sitting out here, had a fire going, had the bike out. Well, uh, about 9 o'clock that night. I got a text message. Somebody was saying that uh, they sent a truck sitting up the road from my house. Looked like they was watching my house. Well, I got on my bike just pretty much immediately after the text message, and I rode out of here. I went down. I went down way down there, just and dropped off that hill down there, and turned around and come right back. Anyways, when I come back up through here, I stopped right there. And there was a car up there. And when I come around through there, he looked like he was backing up. But then he come on down through there. Well, I stopped him right there. I stopped right there on purpose. My cameras, there's one. There's one all the way down there, the other end. And I got another one right here. Anyways, I stopped right there on purpose. Well, he come on down, rolled up to me, said, uh, he blue lied to me. Said he was just making sure everything was going okay. Everything was all right. See, everything's fine. I said, uh, got your new unmarked, huh? And, uh, he said, yeah. I said, good deal, sharp. I said, I'm Jay Brooks. By DHR.com, live right here. I just come on in the yard. Anyways, I went to the cameras, of course, on the inside. And uh, anyways, so that was four weeks ago, about seven, eight days ago. Three thirty in the morning. There's two cars down there, uh, right in, right down there in that area, right there. And there was three units of some sort right there. I'm almost 100% the blue truck that blue lighted me right there that night. Uh, I'm almost positive it was him. But I walked out on the back of the porch right there and hollered up to him and said, uh, he got out of the truck, said, how's it going? I said, going pretty good. What's going on? And uh, he said that they were serving a warrant. I said, 10 4, 10 4, down in the hole. And he said, Yeah. So that's my neighbors over there. Anyways, so 10 4, y'all need anything, just holler at me. And I walked back in the house. I mean, uh, really? You gonna saddle up right in front of my house to go serve a warrant at 3 30 in the morning? That was eight days ago, maybe nine. Well, anyways, the day after he blue lighted me right there, I got an email the next day. Now, it's, it's kind of weird. I'm going to try to walk you through that part of the deal. I, this wouldn't even mean nothing if I hadn't got that email. But that's the gist of what happened that night, four weeks ago. Now let me step you on through it. All right, so I got you up to the point of what happened that night right there on the 27th. Okay, well, it really don't mean nothing. He can ride up down that road all he wants in that $30,000, $40,000 truck that he's driving in that taxpayers' money is paying for to uh, investigate fightdhr.com, I guess. Uh, 
what I'm getting at here is he's using resources to go up somebody that's a whistleblower. Man, I, that's whistleblower act is plain and clear. And I'm sticking to it. But watch what happened the next day. This is what made it. Uh, this is what made what's going on here important. So I'm glad I got that video that night. Jesus, I almost didn't, but I knew better. But let me follow you on. A, let me walk you on through what happens next, and we'll take you from there. So here's what I come up with on the truck that blue lighted me out there. Got his tag number. And uh, I done some searching on him. Found out he's Michael Blackwood. Now this is uh, not the 90 blue light of me. It was dark. I couldn't see him, so I don't, you know, I don't know what he looks like. <clears throat> but anyways, I uh, I found out that uh, I'm pretty sure it's this guy right here. I did a Facebook search on him, and here's two of them side by side, right? Well, there's one with a mutual friend linked to my page. So let's start there. Michael Blackwood, military man. There's the mutual friend right there. No big deal. What a coincidence. But I've also linked, uh, I sent a link between him and Tony Dodd, the officer to come to my home and then stood beside me in court. Yeah, I found a link to him on, on this page right here. All right, well look at this number right here. That's 581. All right, well, when you go look at it on the uh, phone, there's 581. You can look at it at that number up there too. It, you would think it was, uh, it's 581. Now that's a generated number. Facebook will either generate you one or you can pick your own. Now what's the chances of that 581 being on the same truck that I'm looking for? Check out the three digits on this truck. Anyways, let's go back to this one. This is another Michael Blackwood. Uh, Alright, so we got a... Uh, let's roll down here. Check him out. With his, he's got the gap on the clown. It's pretty funny. I think this is him. Don't know for sure. But uh, all this really don't amount to nothing. He can run up, up and down the roads out there and taxpayers' trucks. Uh, identify, <laughs> trying to identify what's going on here at FDHR. Sure hope he ain't running tag numbers and stuff of people that's coming in my yard to speak with me. That wouldn't be right, would it? Maybe we'll find that out. Anyways, look at this number here. It's uh, 714, 741. Seven four one right there. I wonder if that's his badge number. First three digits of his social, date of birth. It's something. Anyways, like I said, the 90 blue light at me, I couldn't see him, and I parked him right there in the camera area, 
And uh, it really, there would be nothing really here whatsoever except for I got an email the day after. From this chick, uh, this ain't her name. This ain't what she's telling me her name is. And I want to sort of keep what she's telling me her name is a secret. I done know, but anybody that knows the connection of this for sure, it would just help me. There's several things that she made a mistake right off the first in this email right here. Ms. Brooks, I'm currently am involved with DHR My Home. I have hundreds of questions and hopefully I can help you out with a few names and help you piece together some information you were looking for according to your YouTube videos. The best part is I live in Rosa as well. I don't mind being taped as long as it's not put on line anywhere. Please. I'm on Facebook as I know you will do your research on me. I just need to know what to do on a couple of things. And you seem like you know what you're talking about. When it's convenient for you, please email me or call, text my cell phone. Blah, 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 blah. Look what she signed down here. I took that last name out. I'm doing that for a reason. I want to do like a reverse search. I don't know, but and look at that B right there. Mm. First lie right there. But this thing's got red flags all in it. Number one. Nobody calls up their old cell phone number right off the bat. Just don't do it. I took out the last four digits. That way, uh, you know, I know I'm not wrong here, but if anybody that can uh, shoot me an email, I mean, look at the resources these people have. I mean, give me the, give me old officer's Blackwoods laptop for three hours. Man, it saved me a lot of time. But anyways, this is where I'm at. It's what amount to nothing except for the email, the phone call I have of this lady, multiple text messages that's just full of red flags all the way through them. It's almost like I was talking to two different people at times. Uh, and I'll get to that as soon as I get a confirmation on what kind of connection these people are. I know they're kin. They're Blackwoods. I mean, just wonder why she was trying to get me to come to her house so bad. That's, that's what I uh, wonder. What was they going to do to me at the old house up there? That, that's just not the way it works. You know, people hit me and uh, it's just It's a huge, usually just a huge email of the same babbling crap of what's going on at DHR and what they're doing. This in here is just totally different. This lady's trying to get me to come to her home. Uh, I can investigate her. Man, I ain't, I ain't got time to investigate everybody that contacts me. And usually it don't even go there. But anybody has any information on these two right here, just let me know. Uh... But I ain't, uh, I sent her a text message. The last text message I sent her was of that ass end of that truck. And uh, she sent back a couple of text messages acting dumb as a stump. <laughs> and I hadn't heard from her since. All that important information that she had to share and the hundreds of questions she had to... <laughs> Ask me. Either which way. This guy right here, you know he's friends with Sue Ashworth. You know he is. Uh, she's a detective too, and I did that video on her. Uh, arresting them two civil rights attorneys. I was nice. I was, I was really, really nice with that video. Anyways. That's just where I stand right now. Anybody can give me a hand, I should appreciate it. Jay Brooks, spotdhr.com.